The base mesh for these simulations was created fully using block mesh. Because I haven't found too many videos on the subject, I will be releasing this also as a separate video so that it can quickly be referenced in future use. The first thing to find in the block mesh file is the location of all the vertices, 32 in this case. Here I've created an animation so you can see their locations in space along with their numbering scheme. The numbering scheme of the vertices is the hardest thing to keep track of, but it is vitally important for specifying blocks and boundaries. The block mesh I define here will extend from negative three to three meters in the X and Y directions, and from negative six to six meters in the Z direction. The jet is 0.2 meters tall and wide. The blocks are basically individual meshes that are put together to create an overall mesh. They are defined by the vertices of two opposite faces. For instance, here with block 1, we can see that vertices 0, 1, 12, and 11 define one face, and vertices 16, 17, 28, and 27 define the opposite face. To define the block, we simply list these vertices along with the number of divisions in the x, y, and z directions. The same for all of the rest of the blocks. Please note that the interface between the blocks need to have the same number of divisions, and that the order the vertices are listed need to match from one face to the next when defining a block. For instance, if I define one face by starting with the top left vertex, and then go counterclockwise, I need to do the same for the opposite face. Once the blocks are defined, it is important to define the boundaries. Again, this is done by listing the vertices that make up the faces that you want to be a boundary. You also need to list the type of boundary you are defining. This may be a patch for an inlet or outlet, wall for a wall or some other object, or empty for a symmetry plane. The best way to really wrap your head around this whole process is to look at the animation I showed in the beginning with the vertex labels. The code is provided in case you need it, and really go through and see what each line of block mesh file is referencing.